Hey guys, no gas, Nico. As promised, it's Friday. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Michigan. It's over 50 degrees. I'm loving it. We don't normally get this in February, so we'll take it. Temperature's got to get colder later on, maybe next week, but for right now, I'll take this. Anyway, I'm on my way to get my Tesla supercharger connected to this BMW i3. Uh, I have 98 miles to go for the GPS. This car says it has 92 miles of range. Now, I, this is a range extender, so I do have a gas generator to let me continue to go. So I'm shy about six miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this battery completely out empty. That way I don't have any charge left. I'm going to be running on the gas back up when I get to the supercharger. And we're going to see how it works. So okay, I'm going to go ahead and take off, stop the recording. When I get there, we'll pick it up. All right, here we go. Hey, everybody. Just about ready to get off the highway. I got 7% battery left. I did flip on the range extender for a little bit. I uh, got 6.5% battery now. I got 7.5 miles to go. Uh, my range extender just kicked on. So I've depleted my entire battery. And currently, I'm going to run the next 7 miles on gasoline until I get to the supercharger. And then we'll go ahead and start charging at that point. So, again, I got about... 10 minutes maybe and that'll get the supercharger and we'll go ahead and get started all right we'll see you soon okay so starting to charge was a little challenging i thought you had to plug the car in first almost every fast charger i've done with this car you plug the plug in first but with the magic dock you have to unlock the magic dock with the app so you actually got to pick your charger and you have to hit charge here then you'll uh, be able to unlock the magic dock and plug it in your car and then start to charge. Pretty happy with the rate of charge. Uh, this car maxed out at 50 kilowatt, started out at 44. I think it peaked out at 48 kilowatts, but it jumped right to 48, 44 to 48, like immediately right at 6%, which I like that. I was at an Electrify America, which started me at like 22 kilowatts. And after about five, 10 minutes, it jumped to 50. Uh, this went right up to the range. Could the battery temperature, there's no preconditioning on these BMWs, so that may have had something to do with it, but more and more uh, fast charging I do, I'll be able to tell if, was that an Electrify America or was that an issue with my car? Don't know. Uh, if you had experience with that, please drop them in the comments. Let me know, is that normal? And it doesn't matter if I don't, what charger I'm at, or was that kind of an Electrify America issue? Okay, so here's a problem we have with... Uh, non-tesla vehicles at tesla chargers look at a picture at this picture there's a guy in a model x pulled up next to me tesla's charge all tesla's charge from the driver's side uh my bmw charges from the passenger side so now i'm taking up a spot for two teslas to charge my one bmw the cables aren't long enough for me to be able to park and then stretch the cable out to the passenger side i have to park where they would normally use the charger to my left while I'm using the charger to the right. So there's an empty space next to me, but I'm using this charger. So right now, if you can see in this picture, there are three chargers being taken up for two vehicles charging. This could pose a problem uh, unless they standardize that everybody plugs in the same or if they provide longer cables at these superchargers. But as for now, this is what we got. Oh, well, here's something interesting. I unplugged and it told me I was unable to charge. And now I have the check engine light on. Don't know if this is a issue with the adapter. Nah. Tesla, but I'm going to go ahead and drive home. Uh, plug it in with my charger at home. And uh, hopefully nothing got messed up. 